Hello guys, this is FK. So as you all know, I've been um for those of you that have watched some videos on this channel, I've been playing with HMX a lot. Or should I say playing at this point? I've been using HMX this year. Uh even so much that I've released a course on it. Uh and HMX has been blowing my mind, honestly. The hypermedia approach has been something that I'm really, really starting to love lately. And um while on that, I found out that HMX also has this scripting language called HyperScript. HyperScript. Now uh, before I continue, I would like to say that HyperScript is still in beta, so it's not like fully, they've not certified it to be fully out for production. But you can you can work with it, you can use it in your projects, you can start playing with it. And that's what I decided to do. I decided to use HyperScript and honestly, it's been looking quite interesting. Now, uh, they say show me, don't tell me. So I'm going to be um, showing you a simple demo, some demos I did. Now let's go here, some demos I did. So we're going to be looking at um, a simple script uh, that I've written in vanilla JS, jQuery, and then we're going to be using HyperScript to write the same script. And what this does is you have this button, you have this button and you have this div. And when you click switch color, it just changes the background of the, uh, of the, of the div. It um, toggles the background of the uh, div that we have right here. So we have this this is vanilla js example uh and if we go here to visual studio code and open vanilla js uh let me wrap the view put this aside for now uh basic styling for the box here this is the red background this is a class that uh, adds the red background and we go down here we have the button that is being clicked to switch the color and we have the box and when we go down here you can see the script so the script normal basic javascript uh get element by id and adding your click event listener and toggling the background so that's all good uh standard code stuff and then we have the jquery example which if we go back and uh click jquery example oh i think i kind of navigated too far here um let me just remove this you click jquery example see it does the same thing it does the same thing and going back to visual studio code uh click jquery example once again we have our box not all this the html and css are the same for every example uh so we have our toggle button and we have our box and down here we have our jquery script which looks you know a few fewer lines than the javascript vanilla javascript example um but yeah still standard code stuff uh our jquery selector uh picking our toggle button and toggling the red background class on the box simple and straightforward now let's see how we're going to do it in it hyperscript rather <laughs> let's see how we're going to do it in hyperscript and that is where things are going to start to look like magic now this hyperscript approach you can either hate it as a boy scout or you can love it as someone that likes trying out new things so let's let's just see how it works now the before i start writing any piece of code the 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 the, the uh, motivation behind hyperscript is actually the same motivation behind a very very old language created in the 80s uh by apple called hypertalk and uh, the motivation is to have um languages that feel more like natural language so when you're writing hyperscript it's going to feel like natural language these are um styles that are uh, coding styles that are close to english just like sql i think sql is the very, very first language that i found that uh that, that I, sql is the language i feel is closest to normal english and that's how hyperscript is going to feel like so let, let's see what happens now we don't have the we don't have the functionality written here we just have, just have the html and we have the css uh and if i so that i don't bullshit you guys <laughs> if i go back and click on the hyperscript example uh, let me refresh this very well uh you can see it's not switching color right now it's not switching color so let's go back once again like i said we have the styling for the box. I've added my HyperScript uh, script, so that is very, very important. I picked it up from the home page, the HyperScript home page here. So you can just click copy and it will copy it to your clipboard. So you add the HyperScript. Now you don't need to add HTMX. You don't need to add the HTMX script to use HyperScript. So that's something you need to note. You can use HyperScript just by itself. And we have the red button um, class that has the red background. Cool. Now let's write HyperScript. The first thing we're going to do is um, that on this button, we're going to do the underscore. That is how you, you know, say you want to write HyperScript, just like the pound sign in jQuery. So um, 
underscore. Now, the, the beauty of this is, is an attribute. You don't have to open a script tag or anything. It's just an attribute. Now, what I want is that when I click this button, I want to toggle this red background class on this box. And that's exactly what we're going to be telling HyperScript. So I'm going to say on click. That's when the button is click. Toggle the red background class. Let me let me just copy that. Toggle the red background class on this box. That's this ID. This uh D with an ID of box. Yeah. On click. That's when this button is clicked. Toggle the red background class. That's with the selector dot red background on the with an ID of box. Yeah. And I save it. Save. And refresh. And now when I click switch color, we have it. Yeah. <laughs> we have it. It's, it's just, it's simply magical. Like, you, you're basically just talking. Like, uh, people have made jokes that maybe uh, one day product managers are going to be able to code with this. But it's just simply amazing but yet powerful it's its simplicity does not take anything away from how powerful it is so you see we didn't have to open any script tag we didn't have to uh, do a lot of uh we didn't have to do this style that feels like mathematical symbols like we're all used to and all that we just simply wrote a statement that basically describes what we want to do on click toggle red background on box and it it, it happened it, it it just worked um you, you see it works and let me let me let me blow your mind a little bit now instead of saying on box let's say i just want to get like a bit naughty and uh have this red background on this this button i can say instead of box on me <laughs> on me this feels almost like a joke like on me like on click toggle red background on me like the the the, the button is talking to itself like or uh, when you click this button when you click me Toggle the red background on me. Now let's see what happens. Uh let's go. Yeah, let's uh, refresh and click. I you see. Yep. <laughs> we now have the red background being toggled on the button. Yeah, on the button. So you can use this for classes, you can use this for uh IDs, and there's so many ways you can even do uh you can even uh, uh connect um to different elements on the page using different type of English sounding word like it, like on it, on this, and stuff like that. Is, is simply amazing but like i said the simplicity doesn't take anything from how powerful this uh language is and i would love to see this as the framework that will bring uh a lot of natural language sounding or looking programming to the um to to the world of web development to the world of uh, front-end scripting so like i said you can hate it <laughs> as someone who is so used to coding the normal style and having all these symbols and all these uh functions and stuff or you can just uh, use the, H the HyperScript style. And there's a bit of uh, method to this madness. For example, the, the, you can actually break this down. It's not like it doesn't have a structure. Uh, on click is uh, the event system. Toggle is a command. And all these are just a statement. They are a statement. So you are basically feeding this statement to this command, uh, which is uh, going to be triggered when this event, uh, which, which is going to run when this event is triggered. So that's it. That's it. HyperScript. I keep, I keep, um, uh, I keep, uh, trying to catch myself when I'm saying HyperScript is of HTMX. Here is, um, HyperScript. Yeah, yeah, HyperScript. I'm still looking forward to use this language a lot. And if you are, if you, uh, want more videos on HyperScript, just indicate in the comment section. Also, if you're still getting, uh, your hang of HTMX, I have a course on HTMX, uh, that on Udemy. Uh, and so many people have already, uh, Sign up for the course and uh, I have a link in the description where you can get the course for 90% off. Yeah, 90% off you can have the course and you can start all this hypermedia goodness with HTMX and HyperScript. So that's HyperScript. I love it. I'm loving it and I can't wait to see more. It's, it's just magical. It's just simply, simply magical.